Today we're going to take a look at FileVault, Apple's disk-based encryption system. To get FileVault started, we have to go inside our system preferences. Now, if you've ever been in here and looked around, you'll notice that there's nothing here that says anything about FileVault. That is because FileVault is actually under the security and privacy settings. We click on those. We have four options that run across the top, General File Vault, Firewall, and Privacy. Obviously, Fire, File Vault is what we want. Note how there's this big, huge red warning here. File Vault is dangerous. If you encrypt the entire disk and don't remember your passwords, you are hosed. So back it up right now. In fact, you can't even turn on File Vault without authenticating as an administrator, which is what we just did. And now we're able to turn it on by clicking here. This is a recovery key that pops up. Make note of this recovery key because this is your last option in case you lose your passwords. In fact, this key is so important that if you click continue, you'll see that you can actually store this key with Apple. Take a look at that little asterisk at the bottom because it says that if you are not under your warranty, you may get charged to recover. However, a small fee to recover is better than losing all your data. Since this is just a demo, we're going to say don't bother to store this with Apple. We're going to click continue and the system is going to ask us to restart. We'll click on restart and when we do, the system will restart, ask us for a password and then boot up just like normal. However, in the background, as we will see, File Vault is actually encrypting the hard drive as we work. As you can see, we're now back from the restart. We have gone back into the File Vault settings, and through the magic of editing, I have sped up the time it takes for it to encrypt. Now, obviously, realize that you do not have to actually watch this happen. We are just because this is a demo. But you can go about your business working while it encrypts in the background. You'll never even know that it's happening. In this case, I decided it was better for us to just get a quick idea about how long it took. I had a 10 gigabyte partition that I used for this demonstration. It took about one minute per gigabyte. So if you have a 500 gig hard drive, it's going to take you probably about 500 minutes. Your mileage may vary, but it's going to take some significant amount of time. Uh, nice thing of course is the fact that you can continue to work while this goes on and as you can see we're almost done 11 minutes of time compressed down to 1 minute and 30 via the beauty of iMovie and there we are as you can see file vault is extremely easy to install it's also easy to troubleshoot I'm going to show you three different ways to troubleshoot file vault in this next section. The first is from another Lion partition. So the assumption here is that you have your main partition that you do all your work on and that you've created another partition for backup reasons. So in case something happens, you can immediately boot into that partition and attempt to uh, solve problems on your main drive. When you do this and boot into that secondary Lion partition, it's going to attempt to mount the file vault drive. When it does, it's going to pop up the password. Once you put the password in, the file vault var, uh, volume or partition, whichever it happens to be, is made available to you at that point. We can then go into disk utility and start working. As you can see, file vault HD is already mounted for us because we put the password in. We can then press the verify buttons or the repair and go along and repair just like we always have done. It's no big deal. It goes through its thing pops up the ending right there and it acts just as if it was any other disk. Another way to handle troubleshooting is to use the line recovery partition. You get to the line recovery partition by restarting the computer and holding down the command and R keys. Once you have rebooted in this par partition you will see that there is a disk utility that you can use to work on your disk. Here we see the disk utility is open and as you'll note File Vault HD which is our File Vault partition is not mounted. Obviously at this point you can't do anything with it until you get it mounted. So we go up to File, we pull down to Mount File Vault HD. Now if you'll look here 
Mount File Vault HD takes care of the mounting, but you can also change the password that you use to mount the File Vault HD, or you can completely turn off encryption, which will at that point return the disk back to the way it was before you turn on File Vault. Once you mount the disk, you can be asked for the password, you punch the password in, File Vault HD becomes available, and then you can do your repair or your verify just like you always have done, as if the encryption no longer existed. It's very simple, very easy, and there's pretty much nothing else to do here. Finally, I'd like to show you a quick run through Tech Tool Pro. It happens to be my favorite tool for diagnostic use. And as you'll see, it's pretty much exactly the same thing we've been seeing, extremely simple and no real difficulty using it. As you can see, we're in Tech Tools Pro 6, my personal go-to utility for pretty much any troubleshooting. If you note, we click on Tools and down here in Volume Rebuild, you'll be able to work on the hard drive and diagnose any issues. Note how the hard drive is offline. That is because it's encrypted. If you click on the Run and then authenticate using the pass key you used for the file vault, click OK, you'll see that it will begin its process of examining the hard drive. Now, obviously, I've sped this up dramatically. Typically, this is about 14, 15 minutes or so, and sometimes even a little bit longer. But it goes through and checks all the structures that are necessary to make sure that all your drive and your files are in happy state. Once it's done with that, it will ask you to replace the information with the correct information, and then it will do a quick recheck to make sure that everything is going smoothly. And there we go, and then the recheck. Bang. It's pretty simple, no big deal, and as you can see, it works perfectly. Just for giggles, I thought I would also show you that you can actually optimize an encrypted volume. Uh, tech Two Pro goes through its little thing, finding all the files that need to be done and all the free space. Once it's done, it will give you a readout as to what needs to be done. Since this is just a demo, I decided to only do the preview instead of doing the whole thing since, frankly, that can take a considerable amount of time when you do it for the very first time. But as you can see, everything works just the way you expect it to. Turning off File Vault is just as simple as turning it on. We go back up onto our Apple menu, down to our System Preferences. We click on that. And then in our Preferences, we bounce over to Security and Privacy. Click on that, and there's File Vault. Once you click to authenticate, you put your password in, unlock it, click the Turn Off File Vault button, and then it says, are you really, really sure? And you go ahead and you click Turn Off Encryption. As you can see, it's exactly the same thing that we saw when we turned on File Vault, except that right now it's decrypting instead of encrypting. As with the encryption process, you can close this window, go about your business, and you'll never notice that it's doing its job. And this is it. Our demo of File Vault comes to a close as we watch the little bar gets bigger and bigger. I'd like to say thank you for taking your time to watch this with us. If you have any questions or comments or whatever, feel free to give us a call. Our contact information is at the end of this film. Thank you so much.